what a game for the Red Wings. I don't even just. I mean, the Sharks. They're not the best of teams, but they're not the worst of teams either. And we blow them out six to two. Six to two. Oh my goodness. And on offense, we were great. You had Bertuzzi getting two goals. You had Pew Suter getting two goals. You had Robbie Fabry getting a goal. And the captain of the Detroit Red Wings, Dylan Larkin, getting a goal. So you had your go-to goal scorer getting two goals. Your two-way forward getting two goals. Your young offensive for forward, I believe, uh, in Robbie Fabry getting a goal. And your captain center, your focal point of the team in general. Not your offense, really, but the guy who runs the offense, um, Dylan Larkin. By not the offense, really, I mean he's not a scoring guy. He's a setup guy for a, a Bertuzzi and a Raymond. But he gets in there here and there. I mean, he had a hat trick um, oh, about a week ago, I think. So he can still get in there. And just like tonight, he got in there. Um, and on defense, definitely improved. We saw Cider get laid out at the beginning of the game. Very rare Cider. I think that's the first time that that's happened this season. But other than that, I mean... Off that, that first goal that the Sharks scored off of the faceoff, that one was terrible defense because all of our guys just flocked to the to where the puck was and nobody covered anyone out out past there because for whatever reason we thought we were going to come away with that 100%. You know, there's no way that we don't. And then we don't. And you got a guy wide open our, and our defensemen are standing, both both Ronick and Letty are standing right next to, to Nijelkovic for some reason instead of trying to go out and stop the puck and then Ned's kind of trapped in between two guys he doesn't know what the heck to do kind of it's kind of an awkward situation for him and he lets the goal he lets the goal the other one that second goal might have been a bit on him I don't know. it's hard to tell sometimes but other than that I think Djokovic great game only two goals allowed it's a pretty good game I think our defense played well I mean it's pretty good defensive showing whenever we allow under, I say, around like four goals is right now the goal. Because we don't have past past Cider and Letty, past the one and two line. It's, uh, the depth is not, not the best. Not the best. Maybe in a few years when Lidstrom starts to come off, uh, Gustav Lidstrom starts to come into his own. Then maybe our lower lines will get better, and as we get Simon Edvinson and we get more depth, then maybe our lower lines will be better. But currently, yeah. no, it's it's not looking not looking good for the depth of our defense currently. But they held their own. It was a good game. Um, that Giovanni Smith, I, I love Giovanni Smith getting into a fight. It's beautiful always to see Giovanni Smith get into a fight. And he won it. No, I don't think there's really any disputing that he won it. There is disputing, though. And also, you know, uh, Wes McCauley doing the, you know, number 48, Detroit. Number 21, San Jose. Five minutes for fighting. That, that, that Wes McCauley's calls, they're beautiful. They're, they're a thing of beauty. I, I could watch those just all day all day like inject them into my veins please uh one of the few referees that like i have respect for and i am a fan of but the call with giovanni smith getting a game misconduct for that hit that one's really questionable because as he's skating to come and hit the guy you can see him make an obvious attempt to slow down with both feet he plants both feet, tries to slow down, he even tries to move out of the way so, you know, his shoulder area doesn't connect with the guy's body and he, you know, goes like that. He tries to turn so he still applies contact, but it's to the front area, maybe the arms a little bit, trying to avoid the head. And so he hits and his head kind of goes into the boards and he falls. But that part you could clearly see was accidental, and Giovanni Smith made an honest attempt to stop the hit from happening. And we've seen guys lay hits on Larkin, uh, Nemenstikov, Ronick, Rasmussen, 
basically almost everyone on the freaking roster. Right? Maybe not that bad. But there's like four or five guys that have gotten hits where it's head first. Cider. Cider got one where it's they hit him head first in the boards or they, side, they, they check him and they raise their shoulder up and head first in the boards. And it's a two minute minor. It's barely even a five minute major. Never a game misconduct. And those guys didn't even try to stop. Like, it was obvious they were following through with the hit. That's the hit they wanted to lay. Whereas Giovanni Smith, you saw that's not what he wanted to do. He tried to slow down. He made an honest attempt to prevent the hit from happening. And he gets thrown out. He gets a game misconduct. And, and it's also frustrating because he, he was having a good game. He almost scored. He's playing good defense. You know, it, it was one of those... He Giovanni Smith, half the time... He shows his potential that I know he can achieve. He's still a relatively young player. I think he can achieve it. That's why I think we should definitely keep Giovanni Smith around. Uh, being a good defender, a good offensive producer, and a guy who can be an enforcer. He was showing all sides of that tonight. Trying to set up guys for goals. Almost having a goal himself. Playing good defense. Getting into a fight. And then in, it was in like the end of the first I think that he got th uh, thrown out for game misconduct that just sucks because he's having a good game and I don't like Giovanni Smith being robbed of good games because you need because some people are really truly like Giovanni Smith haters and you need as many you need to stockpile as many good games as you can to show people like hey, he's not really that bad but I mean Stevie Stevie knows he's not that bad there's a reason he's on the roster the reason he's, he's kept on the roster that's because Stevie wants him here and if Stevie wants a player here the player's pretty good um also speaking of fighting how about Sam Gagne getting in it a little bit you know he was he, he got into a little bit of a fight it was a very short-lived fight and one where he only got one glove off of his hand but it was an actual you know fight where they they went at it you know there weren't refs in the middle or anything you know they they got up there and they went at it um so that was nice. That was nice. It was nice to finally get a win because it's been, you know, two, three games since we've gotten a win. We were pushed out of the wild card spot by the Bruins yesterday. And um, I don't know if we have it back. I don't think we have it back yet. I think we'd have to win a game or two and the Bruins would have to lose a game or two. But currently, you know, we're still in contention for it. We're not falling too much back. It's kind of like... Even though we're only, you know, not even really in the halfway point through the season, we're not even to the All Star break. I mean, we're getting kind of close, um, but we're not even to the All Star break yet. You still want to take every game as a building block towards getting to the playoffs. So it's like in the NFL where every game matters. You know, a loss or a win can be the difference between getting in and out. Especially with, you know, it's a tight race between the wild card teams right now in the Central Division. It's a it's a tight race. So, you gotta gotta be ready. It's tight in the wild card. You just gotta capitalize on all the games. All the games you can win, you gotta win them. That's why I take these so seriously because I think the Red Wings have a legitimate shot at going into the playoffs. Now, doing something in the playoffs that's a bit more of a mystery. That's more murky for me. Trying to predict that's a bit more tough. Um, but I knew coming into the season we had a chance of making the playoffs. I don't know why nobody else thought that. I know Stevie thought that. And I was like, well, since Stevie thought thinks that, and looking at the offseason additions, you got Pew and Ned and uh, Cider's coming up and Raymond's coming up. I saw that, and I thought, hey, that's, it's not a deep team, but it, the first few lines there and the goaltending is good enough to snag a wild card spot. I don't know why nobody else thought that. But clearly this team can do that. And if they don't achieve that, I think that it's a bit of a disappointment. If they don't at least finish, the lowest they can finish without it being a disappointment is a spot, a spot or two away. A spot or two away. Am I freaking from Boston? A spot or two away out of the wild card spot. And then anything outside of that, that's a disappointment of a season. Because we... We're a playoff caliber team. We should definitely be in the playoffs. I want to, I don't know about you guys. I want to see postseason hockey. It's been a long time. It has been a way too long time that I have not been gotten. I have not 
Ben Gotten. I have not been able to see the Detroit Red Wings in playoff hockey. I miss it. I crave it. I want to see them there. So we need to get there. Like, we need to. And then we'll have Simon Edvinson coming up pretty soon. Kosa's going to come up pretty soon. We got all our young guys coming up. Get some center depth in the offseason because Sam Gagne currently being your fourth line center. You don't really like that. And your depth at defenseman, you don't really like that. So acquire some guys to fill those holes. And you've got a really good hockey team. Just get some more depth in general. Just in general. And you've got a really good hockey team on your hands. I think this year if we can prove that we're already good and we're playoff worthy. Free, more free agents are going to want to come here. Like big name free agents maybe. Just saying. See you guys next time. As always I'm not funny. And... Glad the Red Wings are doing it good again. The Pacers are sucking. Purdue just lost. The Colts choked again. Tigers baseball is a long while away. FC Cincinnati uh, soccer is a long while away, even though they aren't good. And NASCAR, still about a month out for that one. So really the only thing I got right now is the Red Wings. And hopefully Purdue basketball if they ever wake up. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Just got unlucky with on a few plays tonight, you know. One of those one of those plays, I thought he was standing still, but he just hit the shit out of that one guy and the guy went flying, they blew the whistle and they called it on him.